Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining us today. Today we'll be making a twist on our world famous Olive Bubbles 30 minute high temperature liquid soap recipe from the book The Ultimate Guide to Liquid Soap. Instead of using olive oil on our recipe today, we're going to be swapping it out with high oleic sunflower oil. This is because we're saving our olive oil for our beginner soap video series, which we'll be filming in the next couple weeks. So in our crock pot, we have castor oil, coconut oil, and instead of that standard olive oil, we're going to use high oleic sunflower oil. If you want to make the traditional recipe with olive oil, that's perfect too. That's the way we normally make it. If you want to swap out with high oleic sunflower oil, we're going to include the recipe and the video information below. So let's go ahead and go over our ingredients. So those are our oils. For our lye solution, we're going to be doing a 2080 dual lye solution, which means that 20% of our lye is going to be sodium hydroxide, and the other 80% is going to be potassium hydroxide. In this cup, we have our sucrose, or our table sugar, and a small concentration of sodium chloride, or table salt. In this cup, we have our sodium lactate. For our lye solution, we're going to be using distilled water with a portion of glycerin. And then for our dilution water, we've got distilled water. For the soap recipe, we're going to start off with a 36% soap concentration. If we need a little bit more water towards the end, or you need a little bit more water, feel free to decrease the soap concentration. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and put on my PPE, and that is our prote personal protection equipment, which includes long sleeves, pants, closed-toed shoes, gloves, goggles, and a respirator. I've got my goggles on and I'll put my respirator on during the lye mixing process. So we've got our 2080 lye solution and our glycerin water. We can go ahead and add our no paste liquid soap recipe additives, sodium lactate, sucrose, and sodium chloride.
After we have completed the continuous mixing process and our soap has reached that cream phase, we can go ahead and cover it with our crock pot lid. And we're gonna allow our soap to set for just a couple minutes until it tests soap neutral. And then we'll begin to add our dilution water and allow our soap to dilute. So I'll be back in just a couple minutes after the soap has tested soap neutral and we'll continue with the process. After your soap tests soap neutral, and you can go ahead and add in your dilution mark. Have a little bit of toothpaste with the sodium lactate. Okay. all there is to it. So now we will cover our soap and allow the heat to do its thing. We'll check back in about 10 minutes and I'll show you guys what the process looks like when it goes from this. Um, it's not necessarily cream anymore but it'll go from here to our beautiful glistening translucent transparent soap. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes. This is our soap after 10 minutes. You can already steer, see it starting to clear on the bottom. So we're going to leave it in our crock pot for about another 10 minutes and then after that we're going to turn our crock pot off and allow our soap to cool. So it does look, if there's a little bit of foam on top kind of like this, this is likely due to some undiluted paste or undiluted soap. So we're going to see, we started at a 36% solution so we might need to decrease that a little bit. But the cool thing with this process is, is that you can wait until the soap is cooled and then scrape off any undiluted soap and dilute it separately. So, we'll check back in after this is cooled. After your soap is completely cooled, you're left with crystal clear liquid soap. And there you go. It is that easy to make our 30 minute high temperature liquid soap. We did a switch for our olive bubble classic recipe and used some hyaluric sunflower oil instead. Hope you guys enjoy.